if um, uh, Luna goes ahead and takes the momentum and keeps the neutral in his favor, he could go ahead and, and just simply just wall Master Mario out. But Master Mario, on the other hand, he's able to go ahead and step on the gas, go ahead and put in those combos, and, and keep Luna off stage, especially with Flood. Wow. Any other thing, kind of those things he can do. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be hard for for both players actually. If you know anything about it, depending on who uh, actually goes and plays the match. Right? Master Mario really coming out real quick with just a uh, 65% combo on Luna. Yeah. But you know, Luna can easily make that damage back. You know, just with two combos, he's already made it back to 60%. Wow. Mm, they tried for the limit blade beam right there. Good air dodge by Master Mario back there. Ooh, Luna not able to connect that second hit will cost him quite a bit of percent and maybe right. some stage control. But quickly but really refining is putting Luna just going ahead and blowing back and forth this flow. You know, Luna just doing so well, spacing out all these bears. And you now Master Mario just can't seem to find his way back to center stage. <laughs> is it just me, or does it feel like uh, Cloud's uh, back air is like the uh, is like the Smash Ultimate versions of uh, Smash Four's up air? Mm. It definitely is. I feel I feel like uh, Cloud's back air acts very much like a. Ooh, Sam! Wow, he's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, going along with my train thought, I feel like uh, Cloud's back air is very much like Charizard's back air, where it's not just a solid line hit, it like swings up too. So it, like it, its range is deceptively large. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Probably just for, for just for the train of thought, but that was that was incredibly amazing. I love seeing those kind of exchanges. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. And with that rage, it's gonna it didn't quite kill. I almost thought for a second mine. But again, it was close, but it's not enough percent. <laughs> with that edge guard right there. Yeah, and sometimes you have to go out there and they'll make those plays in order to take the stock. Uh-huh. Other times you just go ahead and hang back and go ahead and try to see what they're going to do first and remember for next time. Here we go, off stage. You know, Luna using the cross slash to cancel out the fireball right there, trying to up B in Monster Mario's up smash, you know, but the up smash pushed him back far enough where it didn't connect. Well, reliable. Humbles him right down to that. Gets the, the tornado and kills him. I did not know that down throw to down air was a thing. I think it's all. I think it's DI dependent. I mean, yeah, but like, I, I didn't even know like you could even go for that on a DI. I should go ahead and extremely go ahead and see what kind of things you should go ahead and do and watch these players. Yet again, getting the cross slash. No, looking for the back air. Yet again, just trying to space it out. But you know, Master Mario parries it, gets a grab. But you know what? Doesn't. Uh, yeah, Luna mashed really yeah. well right there. That's the has the limit now. Right. And there was I like, talking about right there, you know, the, the kind of J arc where like Luna was like slightly below the platform, but it still hit Mario on top of the platform. Ooh, okay. Notice that he was on the ground and was able to go ahead and punish him with a back air. Well played for Master Mario for that observation. Okay. Uh, another up throw. Again. Does that kill? No, no. No, no, no. I keep thinking it's going to kill, and it doesn't. Yeah. Luna is really good with that DI, but that frame trap situation is really bad for him right now. All right. Oh, he gets, he gets flooded! Yep. And that's it! And again, that's just the bad thing about playing Cloud, that his upbeat does not snap ledge. So all he needs is just one little sprig of water, and he's dead. Make sure to water your clouds nice and well. Oh, yeah. Keep them moist. Yet again, I, I, I think we see uh, tears falling down. I think. Oh my god, is it raining? Is it raining right now? <laughs> you know, in SoCal, it's supposed to rain. Because the cloud is uh, just filled with water right now. <laughs> nah, we're able to go into game two. Ain't that ain't filled with water quite yet. Yeah. They still got another game to go ahead and play. On a smaller stage on Smashville, kind of interesting. I would imagine that the Luna would want more ground space in order to kind of try to avoid himself with the top ledge. Especially with that center platform, I feel like Master can go ahead and try to juggle him for, for those up air situations. But Luna can do the same thing too if he gets in that platform. It just feels like Master's not going to allow that situation to happen though. Right. And our Master already opened him up with a quick 97% in the first 15 seconds. Right. Oh, gets that gimp with that, but not quite going to go ahead and kill stop. Back air going to do that. Not able to go ahead and spray him with the flood. All right. You see Luna definitely trying to hug the stage a little bit more to kind of get underneath it to use it as like protection from the rain. Mm -hmm. Get that good cross slash. He's already at 75%. And now you see Luna trying to go in deep with those fares, you know, trying to like even up the stock and take back the momentum that Master Mario kind of established. Okay, and he's already tied up the percentage. Oh, tries with the blade beam, just misses with that roll in from Master Mario. Really well played with. I almost thought the intangibility he actually might have caught that too. I love that recovery that Luna threw out right there. You know, use the cross slash to kind of, you know, stall himself in the air to avoid the fireball, and then using the air dodge to, you know, get back to ledge. And the cross slash going to go ahead and put up that high 138. Back air cleaning up the stock. Luna taking the first stock in game two. 
I feel like, I feel like any second I'm just going to go to see a... Oh, okay. Oh, you know he wanted the, the second hit of the down air so that it could, or the, the up B so that it would kill. I mean, honestly, that, that would have been that would have been one of those moments if he just turned it around. I feel like he could have just taken the stock from him. You know, I mean, it's trade for the, for the trade, of course. I mean, I don't think he was at a high enough percent where it would have traded, though. Or at least it would have traded to where Master Mario would have died from it. Right. But Mario bad recovery, so. Yeah, actually, I think it would have. All right, back throw. That's going to take it. Yep. But I mean, Luna just definitely managed to turn the percents around. But I mean, Master Mario is no stranger to, you know, making comebacks. Uh huh. Already making up that percent, already putting back up to 42. Just a little bit of time. Parries that, gets that throw in. And, oh, he just goes ahead and puts that fourth throw. What were you talking about? Or bringing it back? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't doubt Master <laughs> Mario for a second. Like, I told you, like, he is no stranger to, you know, going for those fairs, you know, taking out the stocks out from underneath your feet. <laughs> well, that was, that was really incredible. I just didn't think he was going to do it right after you said it. So, you know, and Luna evening things out, you know, getting more limit back. And yet again, no, 21%. Definitely doable for Luna to, you know, take this game, too. Very possible. Master Mario, of course, wants to go ahead and get back into grands if he can. I'm sure he wants to go ahead and clean up this game as well. But Luna not quite making it so easy. Already pushing Master Mario at 70%. Parries the ShamWow. Yep. I mean, he was looking for something, potentially a jump. But, you know, not going to find it. Gets the grab from ledge. Goes for the blade beam. Not going to find it. And yet again, now he's just stuck in the corner, going for the fourth smash three, but you know what, that's a little bit too greedy. Just a little bit. Let's see if Master can go ahead and start capital. He's got a chance, he's back in the neutral. And again, here we go, sending it back to neutral, taking control of center stage, you know, waiting for Master Mario to kind of approach and you know, throw out an option that he can punish. Oh no, oh, oh my gosh, if that had connected. Oh no, he was looking for it, but no, that, oh that's Oh my gosh! A, yeah, that's that, it. Oh my gosh! Oh no. He the, didn't go anywhere with that. Yeah. That cloud already contains too much moisture. Uh, trying to go ahead and find that. Yep. Oh, yeah. limit! Is that shield point? I think he jumped out of shield. I'm not sure, actually. It looks like it just went over the top. I'm not even sure if he dropped that. I'm pretty sure he jumped because uh, he wanted to get a, a raw back there. Because because he was definitely up above the ground when the cross dash connected. So I, I feel I'd like to, I'd have to go frame by frame to go ahead and see that. It looked like right. he was holding shield. But that, that was an incredible game too. Actually, I was very surprised that it ended just like that. Yeah. Yet again, like I know that can, that move can shield poke, but like it is usually not the first hit that shield pokes. It's usually like the the, the second or third hit. Right. That's true. Still incredible second game. We're going one to one apiece. Luna versus Master Mario going into running it back to Smashville as if they're Smash Four bets. Oh, wait, they are. Oops. Master Mario coming up with a quick sixty percent. Ooh, I love that, using the cross slash to kind of get Master Mario off his case right there. Yeah, he's been using that so much, I already been able to go ahead and build his percent, play the neutral, and go ahead and build limit, all off of that one, you know, setup move. Right. There's the up air, there's the up air, and going for the up beat, not gonna oh, find it, oh, but gets the cross slash. so bad situation, great job turning that around. Ooh, right. Four tilt, I don't think Master Mario's making it back. No, yeah, he air dodge, and you know what, not enough room to uh, come back with an up beat. And again, Master Mario just overextended just ever so slightly, you know, that costing him the stock right there. Oh, okay. Luna, Luna, Luna wow. Yo, fair and a fair. I mean, Luna is just looking to end Master Mario's stock like he did game two. Ooh, okay. I almost thought it was doing. Wow, okay. This is a really interesting set so far that, that Luna's actually going into playing. I thought Master Mario was going to try to come back hard, but it seems like Luna's coming back like, just as hard. All right. I mean, you just see Luna just throwing out all these really well-spaced aerials, and you know, Master Mario just kind of getting hit by most of them. Oh, but and just barely missing the ledge. That was really well-spaced by Luna. Though. Yeah. I mean, you know, he had to go for that because Master Mario was looking to get him wet right there. Good up Still not too bad. You know, same stocks, but anything can happen. Speaking of anything happening. All right. I mean, we saw this uh, earlier in the set where you know Master Mario was a little bit down, so he just went for the fair. I think we might see something similar, but no, he's going for the back air, and I think he extended his double jump, but he gets limit. He's got limit, makes it right back to stage. Luna going ahead and saving that stock just as well as he can, trying to keep that lead. See if he's going to keep that. He wants that back air. He right. wants it so bad, and Master knows it. Ooh, you know, his shield is so small, you know, anything could probably potentially poke and kill him. And so yeah, I had some time to rebuild. I don't think he's going to go ahead and get that anytime soon as he gets on the limit cross slash. And again, using his double jump at the last moment, but, you know, getting right on the normal getup, and no, Luna just having his lead taken away from him. So long, All right. Master Mario in the driver's seat. 
go. And all these back airs, you know, Master Mario can't feel through it, but you know what? Manages to fall out and just barely get the grab. Back throw. Oh, not quite cleaning up the stock here. He's got limit on deck, too. Yeah, but he does have limit, like you said, so just throws it away right there. Well, you know, he's only got 15 seconds on it, so he can't hold it for too long. All right. Oh, no. Oh, he got pushed just clean off. Yeah. Yeah. So losing the stock. You no, know he wanted the instant snap, but, you know, it was just a little bit too low for that. So Mario, though, has the opportunity. Yep. And again, getting grabbed. And you know what? This is kind of opening up the can of worms right here for Master Mario. He needs to find his kill before he, Master Mario can, you know, build up any more momentum. Gets it with the four tilt right there off of the roll. Yeah, the roll that usually goes ahead and has the least intangibility. The further you get, or the more often times they can use some of those kind of options. So, oh, okay. So, already starting with that. But the, you know, the damage is already done. Master Mario already has him at high percent already. So he's going to have to go ahead and start making really well uh, on that. Not, not a little bit more than that if he's going to go ahead and make his extensions count. Right. I love how Luna just totally disengaged from neutral right there. Be like, okay. Master Mario is probably going to throw out a smash attack, and I know I don't have anything in my toolkit to beat it, so let me just escape from the situation to avoid all that and reset neutral. Oh, but he's got the limit. Uh, he's going to have to use it. All right. But, oh, oh, no, it gets two frames. And I this don't is know if it. he's going to make it. Oh, no! Oh, that would have been... Oh, and that's it! Breakdancing on him, going into game number four. Master you, Mario up two to one. You know what? Luna had all the right answers, but Master Mario with a little cheat in the pocket would be like, ha, 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 not enough. You got this resource, you got that resource, but it's not enough yep. resources. Still cleaning up that game. This game, the game four, is still very doable for, for Luna to go ahead and pick this, and this nice game up. These two are just going back and forth with a flow that I haven't, you know, oh, with a wonderful back and forth synergy of that. Just taking the neutral and going off stage with this advantage situation, putting it back to neutral again. Right. Here we go, no. You know, Master Mario looking for these grabs and just kind of whiffing all of them, you know? It's, I mean, that's the thing when you're playing against a Swordy is that, Ooh. you know, they can space out their aerial to avoid all those grabs. Ooh, okay. We're just starting to go ahead and try to go ahead and play a little bit more bait and punish guys, I would say. Ooh, okay. Good air with that. Tilt up there. I don't have seen a lot of backers. So I, honestly, this is actually kind of the first one of the game I've seen throwing out a lot more uppers now. Here. Ooh, that really poorly spaced uh, neutral B right there is going to get punished by Master Mario. So now, yet again, this is kind of just the deal with Cloud. It's just like he's going to sit back and you know, try to keep neutral. If you approach him, he's going to up the out of shield. And if you're just going to sit down, he's going to swing his big sword in your face, and he's going to clean out that stock right there. That's not any kind of sword. It's just a huge chunk of metal. Yeah. <laughs> Takes guts to go ahead and play Cloud yeah. like that. I love it. I mean, honestly, like, that's not just one sword. That's like, because this is... Is that Advent, Advent Children? It is. Yeah, that is Advent Children. All right, so that's not just one sword. That's like six combined into one. You're right. Yep. I should, yeah, that is it. I'm can. pretty sure that's Advent Children. I wish I could get a closer look at it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get a closer look at it later, but I'm pretty sure that's the Advent Children. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah it, it is Advent Children because it doesn't have the, the pauldron on his shoulder. You're right. You're right. Well, nice. Ooh, I love the reverse up B to avoid the potential two frame right there. I mean, that's that's the weird thing about Cloud is that like his up B like it's if you B reverse it like he kind of like underhand snaps it so that like his arms doesn't stick through the ledge when you go to snap the ledge. Huh, little details I never noticed actually. Yeah, so that's why you see Luna go for that reverse up B all the time. It's, it's to avoid any potential two frames. Huh. Go figures. So going into the those backers, great up smash right there, but not quite gonna go ahead and go. Another back air clean, but even cleaner DI from Master Mario. And again, Master Mario finally opening up, but gets smacked down super hard, sent back to the earth. But you know what? 156 is still uh, not impossible for Master Mario to bring this back at all. Uh, no, it's absolutely doable. Because then spins a little bit, up smash being the sour hit of it, not going to kill. All right, now you see to Luna. Space that back air. All right. I love how Luna, I love how like the, the, the flow chart is short hop back air, short hop back air, and then like, okay, now they're going to roll, so let me try to catch, or they're going to do something out of shield out of the second back air, so let me try to go uh, catch the, whether it's roll, whether it's jump, and see if I can catch the, the option after the second back air. Absolutely. Master Mario, though, starting with his flow chart of his own, but not quite going to go ahead and kill off the back air. He, I feel like he has to use a limit here. Dash attack, great two frame after that. And this is it, yep. The floods, yep. Oh. Yeah, floods just pushed him too far away. 
Yeah, well, all right. Well, you just got to make sure that he doesn't get in that situation. Luna uh, has to make sure he wins this game if he wants to see a game five. And he might see him with this string right here. Going for the up smash, not going to be able to find its mark. But, I mean, it just put the fear into Master Mario right there, knowing that, like, okay, he might you, die to it just a straight. You sure that's going to put any fear in Master Mario? It seems like he's still pushing pretty hard. I mean, he might be pushing real hard, Ooh. but, you know, he, he could be overextending just as much. Blade Beam? I feel like we're going to see the Blade Beam in a second. Nah. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, buries it! Yep. Limit up B. I love it. Luna taking the, the fourth game. We're going to a game five. And again, Limit coming in clutch for Luna right there. And now that game five, you know, this is so critical for both players right here, you know, because this is going back to Smash Bell, you know, I feel like either player can take it. It's just going to come down to, you know, who can take that first stock. Uh, the first, know, that first stock is going to be so critical. The flow, of the, the flow of them going back and forth is going to be interesting. It's like each one of them goes in and brings something new, different time. Right. This last match we saw uh, Aluna using more up airs and nares. Uh, the match before that, Master Mario started using, uh, making use of more of his flood uh, to go ahead and set him off stage and try to get that way. Right. And I know a, a lot of Master Mario is doing is that he's dash attacking the ledge to try to get the two frame. You know, he's been very successful at it too. Yes. Uh, and right now we can already go ahead and see that he's starting to go ahead and use his patented fair to go ahead and dunk him off the side of the stage. Dang, Master Mario already taking the first stock. nina has got to go ahead and keep the mental mortality if he wants to go ahead and bring and take out the Master Mario's next next three stocks. Right. And I feel like you know if he can just hold on to his stock with as little damage as possible, you know he can potentially you know bring this back. But you know all these cross slashes just stuffing out all of Mario's approach options right here in the air. Good back air. He's got limits to battle on deck. Oh, tries oh. for the down smash. I think that's the first down smash I've seen him play this game. Right. Is that? I feel like he was reading Master Mario to drop his shield, and that's why he down smashed a little bit early, because otherwise he would have totally had that roll covered out. Right. Oh, okay. Gets that forward air. Luna's still looking pretty decent if he can actually go ahead and just only keep himself at that 25%. Right. I mean, he's looking for this back air, but gets the forward air instead. Not going to be enough. Unfortunately for Luna, no, it's not. See if we can go ahead and clean it up with the back air. Or forward air. There's that back air, though. Yep. And you know what? I love what Luna does. Like, we realize, okay, I'm down, so I need to play super defensive. And, you know, when he's playing like that, you know, Master Mario just can't find out his way in, but you know he got that jab lock situation right there. Right. Oh, just missed that limit cross edge. Master Mario just dancing around like a one plumber could. And yet again, get up attack gets Master Mario off his case, but not going to be enough to escape from this situation. That was really risky by Master Mario. If if, if uh, Luna had decided to go ahead and hit the second hit of down B, I feel like that, I mean the up B, then I feel like that would have hit. But Master Mario would have capitalized on betting he wouldn't and he was able to go ahead and set the second. Snipes with the fireball, but not quite enough to go ahead and gimp him yet. Luna still in with the second stock. And now it limits back on deck. He can definitely take the stock out from underneath Mario. Ooh, breaking his limits. I can't believe it. He, sw he swung this game around. It's very possible Master Mario was on his last tournament stock. Right. But you know what? Luna is at super high percent, so all Master Mario needs is just one kill. We are at game five, last stock apiece, even percent. Sudden death. Yeah. Not quite sudden death yet. Well, okay, to me it feels like it. It's as close to it as you're going to actually get. I mean, yeah, it's as close as you're going to get without actually going to sudden death. But, like, <laughs> I feel like you get to sudden death when both players are at, like, 100, like, 120. Ah, uh, yeah, but no, for now, we're already going to see Master Mario capitalizing on that. Gets that up, he's not quite going to go ahead and clear out the stack. Luna already knows the DI very well for that. Not going to get for that up smash. Master Mario really pushing his percentages right now. Normal gets a big mistake against Master Mario if he's waiting for you at the ledge. Has to spend limit. All right. Master Mario catching the normal grab, or the normal get up. Gets a down That's throw down there. Yep. T posing on him, Master Mario cleaning it up, going to grand finals. What a phenomenal game for both players. Oh my god, no, 